Hi, this is Dr. Nikki, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Common Core Critical Areas. It's really important that in your planning for the year, you think about the critical areas for each grade level. Each grade level concentrates on a few things, and I am producing a series of videos where we look at those specific things by grade level, and we look at activities to make those things come alive. One of the most important things to remember is that in the critical areas, Geometry is a critical area in every grade. So think about how you teach geometry all year long because that is a critical area that's really important. And people tend to do it kind of just during the geometry unit of their series, whatever their math series is. But really it's something that we want to build across the year. Operations and algebraic thinking in most of the grade levels is a critical area, whether you're focusing on addition and subtraction or multiplication and division. When we look at base 10, in a few of the grades, base 10 is a critical area. Um, in second grade, base 10 is a critical area. You really want kids to have solidified their understandings of tens and ones and hundreds and to really be doing some calculations um, through the thousands. In uh, fifth grade, base 10 is also a critical area. You're really looking at decimals. Um, measurement comes up a lot as the critical areas in the different grade levels because you really want kids to understand this idea of iteration. You want children to understand customary and metric system that starts in second grade. Um, and then fractions becomes really big in third grade. It's a critical area in third, fourth, and fifth. And you know, it's its own domain. And then you're going to be looking at geometry, as I said, in all of the grade levels. So that's just a general overview of the critical areas. I look forward to working with you at each grade level and talking about the critical areas in those grade levels. Thank you, and as always, happy mathing.